Someone go on, thank you. Oh, so I'm going to that in. Hey, sir, how are you? All right, uh, where did we leave abnormal psychology last time around? Um, sir, we have the Leonardo Gralia for the cognitive approach. Uh, and and we start, we did the cognitive approach. Can you hear me? G and biological because it's an genetics model. G biological because yes. All right, All right. We're now come on to the treatment of phobia. Uh -huh, yeah. All right. Uh, the one thing you guys take it up. For example, you have to be good at certain things. Joe, tum logo maths. Right? Uh, just like plotting the graph. When you are going to be asked to, sometimes, I am a paper for you, but I'm a paper for you, but I don't. And in case, going to create from logo, must have Excel psychology, there are Joe A's can be a paper two, maybe you'll have. Okay, in paper four and paper two, sometimes they ask you to draw a graph. Take it. I'm a share of the independent variable, the IV, right? And the dependent depend variable, the dv, right? So, usko hamesha yaad na kahan pe tum plot karte x axis to y axis. So, do you guys know that kahan pe aaga na? I V D V. Do you know it? If you guys don't know, take it. Sir, I have no idea. Take it. What is Halima saying? Take it. All right, hamesha yaad na. Ke jo IV hota hai, that comes in the kya hai? horizontal axis, hai na? and your DV hota hai, that comes on the vertical axis. Hai? So suppose ke you want to find out the level of intelligence between males and females. Hai na? So the level of intelligence is going to be the DV, males and females is going to be the IV. So obviously, when you graph, banaoge, male ka alag graph, ka, female ka alag graph, ka na? So picture this in your head. Okay, graph as a one, right? You know, like Nietzsche super aga. So this graph is gonna be the male graph taken out. This ke a female graph. Uga. Graph can be as any one. Taken out. So graph agar as a yara. So basically, the patana chaye, it is starting from this direction as a arrow. First, Nietzsche is super. So this come on the fact that male can hardly cover Kena King, Nietzsche is a male. ऐसे बनेगा और कभी ऐसे ग्राफ नहीं बनेगा लाइक हॉरिजॉन्टल ग्राफ नहीं बनेगा हमेशा ग्राफ वर्टिकल बनता है तो जिस चीज के लिए ग्राफ बना लो राइट दैट्स कैन बी जो ग्राफ का जो फॉर एग्जांपल जो आईवी होगा हमेशा नीचे नीचे आएगा राइट सो प्लीज नो दैट इफ यू फॉरगेट इट जस्ट याद रखो ग्राफ वर्टिकल बनाते हैं ठीक है ना एंड क्योंकि ग्राफ वर्टिकल बनाते हैं ग्राफ के नीचे भी कोई ना कोई चीज आती है वो आईवी आ ठीक है ना प्लीज नो अबाउट दैट नाउ उसके अलावा अह या यू सपोज्ड टू बी गुड एट रीडिंग टेबल्स ठीक है ना सो दिस इज ए स्टडी डेटा बाय ओरक ठीक है सो अह सॉरी उस्ट सो बेसिकली ये तुम्हारे कहीं भी बुक में मेंशन नहीं है कहीं कोर्स में मेंशन नहीं है दिस इज मेंशन इन द ओरिजिनल रिसर्च पेपर ठीक है ना बट नो प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज समथिंग दे आस्क यू टू कंक्लूड फ्रॉम दिस ग्राफ यू कैन सी द उस्ट इन्वेस्टिगेटेड ब्लड एंड इंजेक्शन फोबिया एंड he found out different uh, the methodology of how people develop those phobias. Some develop it through conditioning, some develop it through vicarious experiences. Some have no idea and some develop it through just by reading something, right? So these are the percentages given. They ask you, what can you conclude from this graph? To cast a few, okay, you know what? Uh, Conditioning tikana uh, is one mechanism which allows for blood and injection phobia to be developed more as compared to the other causes of phobia. You can say that conditioning is other that you can also say that you know what? Uh, apart from conditioning, conditioning ko chorke, if you look at vicarious instruction and no recall, so you know blood phobia ke percentages are there. 
कंडीशनिंग के अंदर सिर्फ इंजेक्शन फोबिया ज्यादा होता है सो यू कैन से कंडीशनिंग के अंदर जो इंजेक्शन फोबिया ज्यादा होता है एज कम्पेयर टू ब्लड फोबिया बट ऑल दी अदर कॉज फोबिया वहाँ पे ब्लड फोबिया ज्यादा होता है एज कम्पेयर टू इंजेक्शन फोबिया सो यू आर सपोज टू खाइंड एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड रीड दी टेबल्स ठीक है ना यू शुड नो दैट कौन से टेबल्स याद करने देर इज नो पर्टिकुलर सेट ऑफ टेबल्स ठीक है ना क्योंकि ये टेबल्स आते हैं ये जेनेरिक आते हैं देर इज नॉट समथिंग दैट यू शुड लर्न बाय हार्ट इट इज समथिंग दैट यू यू लुक एट अ टेबल दैट यू नेवर सीन बिफोर एंड यू नो हाउ टू कंक्लूड द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम इट ठीक है तो प्लीज ऑनर लर्न टू डू दैट और सो गिफ्ट सो दिस इज कम्प्लीटली पेपर फोर क्वेश्चन ठीक है ना एज आई सेल पेपर फोर के अंदर समटाइम्स होता क्या है द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन दिस इंटायर क्वेश्चन राइट प्लीज गो Of that in depth, please remember जो पेपर थ्री में चीजें पूछ चुके हैं पेपर फोर में नहीं आएगा पेपर फोर में अगर फोबिया के बारे में एक भी सवाल आता ना पूरा चैप्टर फोबिया के बारे में पेपर फोर में नहीं आएगा ट्रीटमेंट ओके सो दिस इज गई आवर ट्रीटमेंट जो अभी हम करेंगे ठीक है ना दिस वॉज जस्ट टू शो यू गाइज दैट दिस इज हाउ इन डेप्थ क्वेश्चन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ फोबिया यू ऑल नो Uh, the biomedical and kya kehte hain the genetic explanation given by us previously that we have discussed now we're going to talk about kya kehte hain how to treat phobia all right so one of the mechanisms to treat phobia is given by wolf that is systematic desensitization uh tum log pehle bhi kar chuke ho theek na in the chapter for button phobia right but we're going to discuss it in terms of this content jo samne All right, so systematic desensitization, ठीक है ना? Is it cognitive? No, it's completely hundred percent behavioral therapy, right? So, ah, uh, यहाँ पे कोई ना कोई चीज़ तुम सीख रहे होगे, तो it's all already gonna be a nature based therapy. होता है क्या इसके अंदर? You're gonna use the same mechanism, classic conditioning का. The argument is, अगर classic conditioning से phobia हुआ होगा, classic conditioning से phobia remove कर सकते हैं. So, yeah. So, what does it do? यहाँ पे होता है क्या यहाँ पे? you know that something is negatively associated with a uh, neutral stimulus just because of fear hota hai so you want to associate something positive with that stimulus taake instead of having fear which a positive experience bande ko mehsoos ho so what positive things are you going to associate step number one is you're going to make a hierarchy of people right you're going to make call the person theek na and make him uh tell various scenarios about that phobias uh starting from the least fear and uh, ending up to the most fear for example ek banda jisko elevator se dhak ke lift se dhak lagta hai so you're going to start off with various scenarios about the lift he is going to say that you know what i'm scared just by imagining about the lift right okay fine uh then he says ke you know what then next step i'm scared about actually seeing the lift in real life then he's going to say i'm actually scared about going near the lift he says then then i'm actually scared about pushing the buttons on the lift aakhir mein obviously the last level is going to be being in the lift itself so you're going to start off with the least scary situation then move on to the next if he is successful in the least scary situation so let's take the least scary situation pehle you can okay he is scared just by imagining the lift so according to wolf jo bhi cheez scenario kya karoge <clears throat> you create you created a hierarchy right so that's fine usse pehle you're supposed to teach them techniques called relaxation techniques theek hai relaxation techniques kya hoti hai you have known this deep breathing like relaxation technique where people you know like perform deep breathing to relax themselves there's something called pmr as well pmr stands for progressive muscle relaxation theek hai main yahan pe naam likh dunga progress the muscle relaxation this can be hota kya you try to relax every single muscles in your body theek hai na like you start from your feet then you work your way up towards your head and neck 
So you squeeze your toes, right? Then you release your toes, take it out, then you like tense up your calves, then you release your calf, then you put it down. It's like you tense your muscles, then you relax it. You work your way up uh, towards your neck. So this kind of makes people relax. So you teach them some relaxation technique, then you make them go through the least scary scenario, right? From the uh, anxiety hierarchy. So they're going to actually go to, uh, to uh, through the least scary situation using this relaxation technique. Now, the way this works is there's something called reciprocal inhibition. Reciprocal inhibition simply means that, see, your body is has limitations because you're a human being and you have limitations. So reciprocal inhibition, see, at one point in time, you will not experience fear and pleasure at the same time. See, you're not able to do that. It doesn't work that way. Your body is not designed to do that, right? So you cannot feel two opposite emotions at the same time. Makes sense. So this phenomenon is called reciprocal inhibition. Now, let's take the elevator example. relaxation which you are going to do it through this technique. fear Either one. The idea is okay, you're actively doing relaxation technique. So this is going to be stronger. So this will dominate. So when you're get the, imagining the lift even, you do relaxation because you don't conscious and this means you don't feel it. So what happens the relaxation gets associated with the imagining of the elevator experience, which then helps you to get over it. Then you move on to the next step of the hierarchy, which is actually seeing the elevator. Again, you do this relaxation technique while seeing the elevator. You get a reciprocal inhibition. Says that you have relaxation muscles, or you fear muscles. Ideas get relaxation muscles, and you are going to be okay with seeing the elevator as well. Then you move on to the next step. Jab tak tum pura lift ke andar baat ke pura experience khatam nahi karte. So that's how it works. So basically, this is the positive stimulus that you're associating with something negative. And this is exactly that classic conditioning where you now this relaxation technique associate it with something that you fear. Okay, so this is exactly what we'll say. Said that this a behavioral technique where classical conditioning is used. You teach them muscle relaxation deep breathing technique. Okay, now after that, you make them uh, construct a fear hierarchy. Uh, the lowest fear item will be below, and the highest fear item will be above. Right? And at the end, what do you do? Uh, you make them practice those relaxation technique while they uh, work work their way up till the hierarchy, and you do that till they reach the top most level of the fear. That's how it works. Taking a slight reverse classic conditioning, I could tum look samaj lo. You can add the word reciprocal inhibition if you can, if you wanna. Taking it, but does not require in the CIE vocabulary. All you have to know is how does it work. Uh, is key supporting research by Wolf Kinia, right? Wolf Kapni research, near there are additional researches that you can quote it works or not. So, Agras found out that it is useful for treating agoraphobia, right? And Kimura found out it is useful for treating specific phobias such as fear of snakes. So, it does work in treating phobias. Must like Wolf Kapni research in thus far. So Evaluating Wolpe's study, Tigne, yeah, Wolpe's explanation. Uh, it is niche, uh, as I said, nurture based, right? Is it individual, situational? It is completely situational. Okay, whatever you, you know, decide to put here, that is going to impact the person. If you have negative, you can develop the phobia. If you have a positive, you can cure the phobia. Uh, it could be individual as well as to. Every single person will create a different anxiety hierarchy. So yeah. So yeah, I have a question. What is that? The one by seven ceremony will also use a team. Uh, can we use that as a yes? I said you can use that evidence. But in there, for a key, you need to mention that there relaxation technique is used. There, there are positive reinforcements used. Right? Okay. 
तो ये माइनर से डिफरेंस है बिटवीन सेंट्रिफ्रेस सर्वेबल्स एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड वुलपेस आ सिस्टेमेटिक डिसेंसलाइजेशन ठीक है डी आइडिया वाज सेम बट द मोड ऑफ रिइंफोर्समेंट वाज डिफरेंट यहां यहां वहां पे पीएमआर नहीं किया गया था बस यू नीड टू मेंशन दैट बट यस यू कैन यूज सर्वेबल्स एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एक्सपेरिमेंट एज अ रेफरेंस ठीक है ना वर वाज आई सेइंग या इंडिविजुअल एस्पेक्ट कहां पे आएगा जहां पे हर बंदा डिफरेंट एंजाइटी हायरार्की क्रिएट करेगा राइट uh is a reductionist is completely reductionist in the manner that is only focuses on the behavioral aspect you can have nothing cognitive you don't change the way how a person thinks about the elevator right you don't change the thought processes you don't change the biology ek tarike se you only focus on the behavioral aspect so it's completely reductionist is it deterministic uh well yes in the sense remember it is a behavioral therapy uh, behavioral aspect or into therapy and whoever is the follower of behavioral psychology wo hamesha ye yaad rakhega ke tum yahan pe agar negative cheez laoge 100% fear develop hoga aur yahan pe positive cheez laoge 100% fear cure hoga and iske alawa koi outcome nahi ho sakta hai as in you cannot choose consciously ki yahan pe relaxation aur fear ke baad jo tum jaan bujh ke karo you don't have the option to get cool behavioral psychologists you don't have thought processes so you just a passive ऑर्गेनिज्म जिसके साथ पॉजिटिव करोगे तो पॉजिटिव रिस्पांस देगा नेगेटिव करोगे तो नेगेटिव रिस्पांस देगा यू कैन नॉट चूज टू डू एनीथिंग अदरवाइज सो इट इज गोइंग टू डिटरमिनिस्टिक अ रिडक्शनिस्ट इंडिविजुअल सिचुएशन अ ओके ओके Yeah, I guess that's it. So <clears throat> it does have its application. Taken, okay, it can be used to treat people with various phobias. Uh, please remember one thing, one very critical thing that, जब भी तुम ये करते हो, right? The name is systematic desensitization. Systematic का मतलब आहिस्ता आहिस्ता होता है, right? So the word systematic is used for a purpose. Uh, just like the example that i gave with the elevator just like the example you have a similar sermon you will never 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 ever introduce them to the real situation better you do not start with uh, the in usual account you don't start with in vivo in vivo ko matlab you don't start with the actual stimulus you start off with the imaginal stimulus you start off with in vitro you don't need to remember the word in vitro just yaad rakhna you don't start with the actual thing You start with the imagination of that thing. Okay, you work your way up to the actual thing. Okay, that's what systematic means. Bottom. So, with that being done, now we come on to oost ki therapy. Okay, na. To yahan pe discuss ye kiti with you that this question. Okay, na. Upper wale yahan pe. So, <clears throat> now apply tension. Is ki therapy ka naam hai. All right. So remember. uh this therapy is in connection to the research conducted by us when we found out why are people scared of blood and injection so ye uske hawale se hi isne apni therapy nikali hai so the therapy is called applied tension right so the way it works is uh it alters your physiological responses right it affects your physiology it doesn't affect your behavior uh it doesn't affect your thinking process so affect your uh, physiological responses to hota kya ke you know that blood pressure kam hone ki wajah se people faint and that is the cause of why people are scared of blood injection because they fear of fainting so oost will then tell them techniques uh to increase their blood pressure ho kis tarah they they're going to tense their muscles take it up their muscles ko uh, tense karenge they got apply tension on their muscles just give base for the quota ke if you think about it uh jahan pe pressure hoga na wahan se khoon nahi piche nahi jayega khoon upar hi rahega right so you're going to keep your blood inside your head by up, up tensing up your neck muscles or every single muscle that you have so yeah so so you don't faint and blood stays there so does it work or not let's find out All right, so basically, there's one group with applied tension. ठीक है ना जो हमने यहाँ पे discuss किया. There's one group called applied relaxation. Applied relaxation के अंदर you relax your muscles. ठीक है ना after tensing them up, 
अप्लाय टेंशन के अंदर यू टेंस दम अप यू डोंट रिलैक्स दम एंड देर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ कभी को आप टेंशन करोगे कभी को आप रिलैक्सेशन करोगे उस वांट्स टू फाइंड आउट कि कौन सा टेक्निक काम करता है सो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज गोइंग टू वर्क विद पीपल हु हैव ब्लड फोबिया ठीक है ना 30 पीपल कम इन 10 अप्लाय टेंशन के अंदर 10 अप्लाय रिलैक्सेशन के अंदर एंड 10 कॉम्बिनेशन वाइड ग्रुप के अंदर सो इट्स अ इंडिपेंडेंट मेजर्स ग्रुप डिजाइन अ कितने सेशंस तक इनके साथ थेरेपी होती है दिस इज द नंबर डेस्टिन एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी क्रिटिकल ठीक है ना 5 9 10 व्हाई इज देयर डिस्क्रिपेंसी 5 9 10 व्हाई डोंट ऑल द थ्री ग्रुप्स हैव 10 सेशंस ईच देयर इज एन एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर इट द आईडिया इज दैट अप्लाइड टेंशन वाले लोग जल्दी ठीक हो गए दे गॉट बेटर इन जस्ट फाइव सेशंस अप्लाइड रिलैक्सेशन वाले लोग नौ सेशन करना ठीक हुए एंड द कॉम्बिनेशन वाले लोग 10 सेशंस करना ठीक हुए the idea is that yes all of this works of that tension and relaxation combination all of them work but applied tension works faster you get a contrary data people got better in just five sessions right uh there's a question yes well yep so applied tension works better in relative to how much time does each technique need to work All right, so you here you can see the data, right? Okay, people did improve. Take it out, seventy-three per percentage people improved, and seventy-seven percent improved overall. So it's a very good number. Take it, you can quote that, right? Yeah, but the cut despite failure to find between group differences. So based on result, based on effectiveness, based on number of people who got treated, no difference. But if you look at the timeline, then there is a difference. So. Applied tension is much more better because, okay, as compared to the other therapies, it requires only half the time needed. So, hence, us conclude that applied tension ko prefer karna chahiye compared to the other alternative treatments out there. So that's the entire study. So it's an experiment as well. You have number of people. Is it generalizable? Or not. You can say it's not thirty people. You can also say that blood phobia wale log ke upar gile diye the. We don't. We don't. We're not sure that dusre phobia wale log ke upar kam aega. so there's a problem generalized really in terms of number as well as the condition that people have uh all right number 2 uh is it kya kehte hain reliable yes kyunki the instructions mention in apply attention relaxation combination can be standardized as well uh iske alawa aur kya ho sakta hai yahan pe dikha na self report self report measures generally istemal kiye jate hain right they were also standardized as well all right is it valid well uh you can say that people could fake their answers on the self report so there could be demand characteristics on the self report right so internal whether uh whether it really gets at here now apart from the experiment let's talk about the evaluation points in terms of nature nurture is it nature nurture when taught them to sikhaya hai na inko karne ko unko aata to nahi tha so this is nature based therapy as uh, a nurture based therapy is an individual situational is completely individual individual you get you're changing the individual's physiology when you want to treat them but it's also situational in that regard ke jis therapy ke andar banda hai na utni jaldi theek hoga so these therapies have a situational difference applied applied tension mein alag instructions hai isme alag hai aur combinations mein alag hai so jis थेरेपी के अंदर बदला जाएगा उतनी जल्दी ठीक होगा सो इफ यू से दैट इट इज सिचुएशनल बट इफ यू लुक एट द ओवरऑल पिक्चर पूरे थेरेपी की व्हाट एवर दीस थ्री थेरेपीज आर दे ऑल फोकस ऑन चेंजिंग द इंडिविजुअल्स फिजियोलॉजी एज इन ब्लड प्रेशर तो ये इंडिविजुअल आएगा दिस कैन बी बोथ दिस कैन बी बोथ इज इट डिटरमिनिस्टिक या फ्री विल दिस इज फ्री विल क्योंकि द पर्सन इज कॉन्शियसली चेंजिंग देयर ब्लड प्रेशर राइट सो ब्लड प्रेशर इज इन द पर्सनस कंट्रोल एंड ही इज चेंजिंग इट व्हेनेवर दे वांट सो दैट इट इज डिटरमिन फ्री विल is a reductionist yes you okay, you're changing the person physiology you're not changing cognition you're not changing nothing so you're just cha changing the physiological uh, features reductionist is a scientific or objective yes you okay, can blood pressure can be monitored through the uh, kya kehte hain machine which will give us accurate information right so this is an objective and scientific method to treat people as you can find out and measure blood pressure um or just that is it culture bias well 
I would say that a person's biology may not be influenced by culture, right? So hence, it could be, it could, it should not be culture bias. It's free of any culture bias. So that's oost. So two therapies are with the company again, Wolf and oost. Now let's go back to the question. Yeah. Two advantages of the applied tension therapy. Number one, it works quicker, right? So jaldi kaam karte, hence, if you know that things that consume less amount of time, they consume less amount of money. So it's cost effective in that regard. Number two, uh, does not have any side effects, right? No side effects there. Uh, number three, the person can practice it in any situation they want. But it is flexible. Office makers have to go back because of it. So it's very easy to do wherever you want. So it's practical. Uh, number you um okay of that. Yeah, obviously, obviously, under the advantage is it works. Okay, you can quote the data from a study that 77 people were uh, treated in the follow-up phase. So these are some advantages taken. I'm sure you can think of other disadvantages as well. That one disadvantage is that it is too reductionist, right? Doesn't uh, focus upon the cognitions, cognitive process involved in blood phobia. It only focuses on the physiological aspect. It's too reductionist. Uh, number two, one uh, disadvantage for uh, blood phobia is that uh, applied tension is that it will not work for phobias. Jumpy painting is tamal nuti. It'll only work for phobia. Jumpy painting is tamalo. So it's not applicable to every single phobia out there. All right. So question C: Fear of blood injection or common phobia. Describe how a different phobia can be explained through conditioning. We already did this sawal. Jumpy tum little Albert ka jo phobia hai. White rat wala, the entire process of classic conditioning, neutral stimulus, silica, and uh, classical stimulus. So, so you have to explain the process of little Albert. Pe. Discuss the evidence and suggesting that phobias are learned. All right, so this is a small debate, right? So you should uh, talk about studies, pe, they argue that phobias are learned. So obviously one aspect, on one side you have little Albert, they argue the classic condition with through phobia, on the other end, right, you have the genetic study, which says that there is a genetic link involved. You can use U study to support that claim, right? All right. Uh, now, 1.4, one point against, like we should find uh, two, one more point for both of the sides as well. You can argue that if you pick up the research by uh, Leonardo, right? Leonardo says uh, phobias. If you think about it, Leonardo says that your thought processes actually help to acquire phobia. So Leonardo says, yes, phobias are learned, but it depends on the thought processes. So it's not 100% that you're going to develop phobia. But if you have that thoughts, are so you're going to develop phobia. If you have them, uh, so that's a research that could support the claim. TK. One more research that can go against is the one that is by Crook and Mineka Yewala, where you can quote that this poor experiment quote kar sakte ho, na, when you can argue that if phobias were learned, sare ke sare bandar fear show karte, but kyunke is study can there's a do group of monkeys in a phobia, phobia show that this can, could be argued that some phobias are genetically inherited rather than learned. So this is the true side of the debate that you're going to have. Conclusion, it's a balanced conclusion. So you're going to say that our phobias, uh, there are certain phobias that can be learned, but there are certain phobias that could not be ex explained through behavioral uh, theories. Hence, uh, it would be in our best interest to consider both explanations of the phobias as uh, both explanations of the phobias would allow us a more in-depth knowledge regarding phobias and as well as give us a wide variety of techniques to treat the phobias rather than just limiting ourselves onto one singular approach. TK. So you're basically, this is going to be a conclusion where you, where you say that both are valid and both are good. <clears throat> so this is the one conclusion that can be drawn from the table. It's got, you know, you have the question, it's constant, you have the cover. You can cross-check your answers as well. 
All right, so last explanation of phobia taken up, oh, sorry, last treatment of phobia is again by Oost, and but Iskander Ekor Bandega Namoga. Oost and Westling Shad Nama. Yeah, Oost and Westling. So this is the third treatment for phobia. And this particular thing is going to focus upon CBT, right? So we have CBT go focus on cognitive behavioral therapy in treating phobias. All right, so will uh, CBT work in treating phobia? Let's find out. So Oost in his previous study already found out that, you know, applied tension works, applied relaxation also works. So yeah, apply relaxation again. Now this is they're going to compare it with something new CBT. You know, the CBT is compared. Now they want to do it. So please remember that blood phobic look panic disorder while right? So you can argue that you know like you say phobia scale applicable ho ya nahi Again, 30 people have panic phobia, chicken up. And they're both divided into two groups. Are they CBT while log jate and are they uh, kya karte apply relaxation while log group me jate? So, what I care ke at the end of the study, right? After 12 sessions, 12 sessions is the number of sessions, right? After 12 sessions, tikana and 12 sessions, but they had a one year follow up. The results show that both of the techniques worked again. Dono technique me farak me, both of them work. So the data are specifically mentioned as, as this. 65% of the people recovered in a relaxation and 74% recovered in CBT. And after the follow-up, the percentage increased to 82 and 89. So 82 and 89 are both good numbers. Now they're going to check the relapses. Relapses kya, relapses kya hota hai? Uh, relapses you hota hai ke, uh, is there any chance ke banda jai wapis bigar jai? Let's find out. <clears throat> so basically there were no relapses so basically that, that's a good sign all right so basically this shows that so they're going to conclude that you know what uh both are effective so you can go with any they can they already knew capital relaxation work they never knew anything about cbt so that's why they're going to focus on cbt and they're going to say okay you know what CBT also works. So CBT is an effective treatment to cure people who have phobia, particularly panic disorder. So that's going to be the conclusion because they already knew about apply relaxation. So if you want to talk about the good and bad about the experiment, you can talk about the generality problem. Jump discuss first, you can. Uh, 30 people less number. You know what, panic disorder cannot be applicable to other, other phobias, you can argue. Apart from that, Tikana, you can argue that self-report scale system are getting an experiment with the one demand characteristics as a but they were controls as well. Jahape, they were independent assessors as well. So that's a form of control which increases internal uh, validity. <clears throat> so apart from that, Tikana, now let's talk about nature nurture. It is a nature-based therapy, you get uh sorry, nurture-based therapy, you can CBD can there, you tell uh Educate people how to change their thoughts. Tikana. Chakui Jhape Dunyama can be CBD or you're gonna Mahape Lokum Sikhaya, the government thoughts case or change that. So it's nurture. Is it individual situational? Is both. A prior relaxation works on changing person's physiology, cognitive works on changing the person's thought process. So it's individual. But if you compare the results, Tikana, uh, different therapies give you different results. CPD is a bit higher than a applied relaxation. So this difference in the betterment of people is come came down to therapy difference. So it's completely situational. All right, individual situational again. Is it reductionist? Well, uh, CBT only focuses on thought processes. Applied relaxation only focuses on a person's biology. So it is reductionist in that regard, taken up. So every therapy, jambe dono ki dono therapy, and their report reduction is. Is it free will? Of course it is. Cognitive therapy can let you change your thoughts, and you can consciously change your thoughts. So it is free will. Um. Okay. Are there any side effects to CBT? There's no side effect. Uh, but compared to other alternative treatments out there, CBT ko bara session lagena, so it's gonna be more expensive as compared to applied 
relaxation ya applied tension even right to cbd is comparatively more expensive dusra masla ye other cbd ke sath it's not applicable everyone to care for cbd to work the person has to be willing number 2 the person has to do their homework if they don't do their homework he cannot won't work with people so that's some limitation that cbd has so it's very difficult to pull off right so yahan pe na cbd kis tarah kiya see a person who has panic disorder right we discussed ke unko aisa hota hai ke panic attack ho raha and they are going to faint and they are going to die so unko koi na koi physiological sensations experience hoti hai jiske se wo dar jate hain so basically the first step is to identify their body sensations right and identify ke is there any chance that they are misinterpreting them theek hai na step number 1 number 2 if they agree ke ha main kuch apne body symptoms ko misinterpret kar raha hu step number 2 is ke tum phir usko alternative explanations kya de sakte ho instead of you know focusing on your heart beating saying you're going to die alternative thought process kya la sakte ho they're going to work on that so, and this is where the therapy works after they change the thought process about their symptoms theek hai na phir they come out to a third step jahan pe belief change karte hain jahan pe kya hota hai ke they perform some behavioral experiments as in they prove it they prove that this process is right by uh, making the person's experience that panic attack for example the person feels that their heart rate is heart rate is fast but yahan pe alternative explanation aa gayi that heart rate is fast because i am nervous right and the only way to prove this is right that i am nervous is to actually increase increase their heartbeat so they are going to go through a behavioral experiment jahan pe unki heart rate increase ki jaati hai and jab unki heart rate increase ho jayegi and they are going to see that yaar main mar nahi raha i'm still alive so this explanation is now going to get converted into beliefs so so you actually make them believe that this is true by conducting experiment on them that's how it works so that is cbt in general theek hai there's no harm there's no side effect theek hai cbt can be applicable to a variety of situations is completely uh, practical as well so that show entire study of phobia complete as well koi is there anything that you i like to ask or clarify about the treatments for phobia yeah uh, so with that being said we're going to start another disorder theek hai the last disorder with an abnormal psychology uh do minute rehte hain so i'm going to restart the क्या कहते हैं जूम कॉल